Well, we're hanging out here with a former UNLV Rebel, Hunky Cooper, back on your old stomping grounds, Hunky, when you first got the call from Barry Odom that he wanted you to be the Director of Football Player Development. What was your initial reaction? Well, being in town in February at a convention, um, Boosters um, alumni had asked me to go meet with Coach Odom, and mm -hmm. it's the first time. We were supposed to have a 30-minute meeting, and um, that 30-minute conversation lasted about four and a half hours. And um, at the time, the staff was completed, and there was no, not going to be an on-the-field position, but he said, um, we need each other, we can make each other work. You're back to wearing the same colors that you once wore back in 90 and 91 as not only the quarterback of this team, but you played six different positions here. Uh, what did your time at UNLV mean to you? Everything. Um, I met lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny, um, you know, I see Nico in the building. I, I was able to coach his family members when, he, when they were younger. Mm -hmm. um, just creating, uh, regenerating your old relationships, reigniting. Mm -hmm. um, this city has been tremendous to me. Um, my kids, my daughter works for the Nevada legislature. My other daughter's a nurse here at Sunrise Hospital. Mm -hmm. And obviously my son coaches college football. He's at Oregon State. So the, the lessons learned here in, um, in Las Vegas, the relationship we built, the friendship we built uh, are all multiplying now. Mm -hmm. And I just want to be able to give everything I can back to this community. What is it like to see this program not only have success this year, but to be a part of that success? That's everything. Um, mm -hmm. Everything goes full circle in life. Yeah. And um, I had great times in, in this conference. And to be here my first year and to compete for a conference title and have an opportunity to compete for a conference title was huge. Um, I think it's a great learning experience for our players. I think it's going to give us some ground to build on. From the nine wins for the first time since 84, you guys are getting ready to play in a bowl game, and you just mentioned competing in the conference championship a few weeks ago. What did it take for this program to get to this to this point? It took a lot of trust, a lot of trust, a lot of hard work, and a lot of commitment. Trust in the vision that Coach Odom had. Being committed to each other as players and as teammates and as coaches and then going out putting in the work. Um, none of this is possible without the kids putting in the work. Hunky, you've played in one at the collegiate level. You've played professionally, you spent time in the AFL. You've also been able to coach the game. Um, you even coach high school ball here in Las Vegas. What is it like to, to get the chance to experience the game on so many different levels? Um, this has been my most trying year to see it through a different lens off the field. Mm -hmm. But I, get, I don't have to be the bad guy. I'm always about solutions now. I think my gift is I can reach hard to reach young men. And, um, you know, I, there's no, no job too big or small for me here. And they'll see me pick up paper. They'll see me work on the turf. They'll see me fix the stairs. They'll see me do anything. And if they see me doing it and they respect me, then it makes it easy for them to do. So I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it and excited about the opportunity I have to come back and work and be a part of the, the transition to a, to a winning program. Well, as we are in the end zone now, uh, why is this Las Vegas' team? Because it's the team that's been here the longest. It's the team that's been here the longest. Um, everybody else, I mean, you get a hockey team that comes here to go to the Knights and done an amazing job in six years, they're world champion. You get the Las Vegas Aces, who are a transitional team. They come in and have success. Uh, Lindy LaRock is doing an amazing job with women's basketball. Men's basketball has had their time. The Las Vegas Aces, which were the 51s, have done a great job. And now it's about UNLV football. And we want to capture that. And, and the oldest team deserves the biggest reward. And I think um, we're going to get that reward. Okay, Cooper, thank you so much for the time. Good luck in the bowl game. Thank you.